Hey Tubes, welcome to part three of the uh, high steer build that we've been working on. If you haven't seen uh, part one or part two, please tune into those. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting some ball joints on the uh, driver's and passenger side knuckles that I've got here. I've gone through, painted them up. i still got to run a uh, thread tap over those to chase out the threads, clean them up. But what I wanted to do is I had told you guys that I was going to purchase a uh, new ball joint press. I got the Made in the USA OTC and we are going to <coughs> take, you can see how I bent the other one. This whole ear is completely bent and this one's bent also. So we're going to take that and we're going to put that in the scrap pile. This is the one that's going to fit in the case from now on. Look at that, it was made to be. Alright. Step one. Put a little oil on it. Get that threaded in. Alright, set that to the side. We're going to be needing that socket there and that there. Everything else I do believe we don't need. Alright, I'm going to start on the rougher of the two. So off camera, I went through and did uh, a POR 15 to it, and then I just top coated it um, with just some rattle can. And um, it looks like I'm gonna have to do some touch up because it chipped a couple spots. But <clears throat> the ball joint that I went with are these Mevo Tech Supreme. Um, I've had really good luck with these in the past, so I'm gonna go ahead and use them again. All right. So inside the kit is a Zerk fitting, a cotter key, put those in there, comes with a new bushing insert, I'll put that in the box also. So all we're concerned about today is this piece. All right. Pretty straightforward. I got some paint in here. Who cares? It's gonna get. It'll be just fine. Make sure that you have your grease fitting in a spot that you know that you can get grease to. For me, I'm gonna have it so that it is pointed towards the front of the truck. This here is the front, so I'm gonna just kind of place it somewhere in that front-ish area.
All right. That took a little bit of fumbling and they ruined it. Ah, I ruined that boot. Shoot. Yeah, I ruined the boot. Well guys, just wanted to give you a little video here. Showing you that Mevotech customer service really stepped up to the plate. I uh, called them and told them what happened with the um, boot on the other ball joint. And uh, they said, no problem, we'll send you a new one. We were, you know, so I thought that was pretty darn cool. I, asked, I just asked them for the boot and they said, ah, it's easier for us just to send out the whole thing. So I've got a spare ball joint and um, I really wanted to give a uh, huge thank you to Mevotech for uh, doing that. Yeah, I ruined the boot. Should have taken the boot off. Stupid me. Yep, guess I'll be ordering another one of these just for the boot. That sucks. Nope, stupid mistake. I'll try to do that on this one. Right, let me get it set up and then I'll bring you guys back. And we'll just use the same cap, I think. Ball joints installed. Put that grease cap on. Yep, I'm gonna struggle with that off camera. But let's get that snap ring in. All right, I think I figured out how you get this grease seal on. Ah, oh, I hate when I do that. I put it in reverse. There it is. So it did have to be pressed on. There it is. So that's good. That's a problem that doesn't even fit on there all the way. What do we do different here? That. That, and then no, it didn't use that one. I must use this one here. Yep, we did it that way. Okay. Freaking believable. All right, let's go ahead and use this.
Uh, let's see here. Snap ring. thing I gotta do off camera is install the Zerk fittings. But uh, yeah, these are ready for install on the vehicle. Well guys, I appreciate you uh, coming along for this uh, <laughs> interesting adventure. So if uh, you like this type of stuff, please rate, comment, subscribe. And if you have not seen um, episode one where I remove the ball joints, um, I'll put a card here. And if you want to see episode two where I machine this knuckle to accept this high steer, um, I'll put a card here. All right, guys. Until next time, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget these. I always like these. Alrighty.